we should renew our commitment to the cause of the Islamic unity and brotherhood and help in the elimination of differences between Sunni and Shia sects of Islam. There is no denying that there are differences of opinion on some doctrinal and theological issues, but we tend to forget that Islam is not a monolithic faith. Amenable to a narrow and singular interpretation, it is made up of a rich pattern of diversity, although flowing from a common source. We are fully aware of the dangers and challenges facing the Islamic world today. Evil influences not only threaten its unity, distort its identity, tarnish its tenets, but brutally attack the very message of Islam. Prophet Muhammad was sent by God with the universal message of Islam. As the messenger of mercy, whose mission was foretold by all previous prophets over the different parts of the world, the prophet preached the brotherhood of humanity. Although born in Arabia, he never said the Arabs had any preference over non-Arabs. Among his companions were Salman the Persian, Suhaib the Roman, and Bilal the Black Abyssinian. Once on the commandment of Allah, he concluded a pact of brotherhood among his companions, selecting a pair of those who were friends of each other. After pairing some 740 companions, the Prophet then held the hand of Ali and declared him as his brother. Today, international paganism in the form of the Zionists and the secularists of the West are trying to harm Islamic unity. Unfortunately, they are being assisted in their unholy mission by the Salafis and Wahhabis and the terrorist groups they have formed to create sedition in the Muslim ranks. Under such circumstances, it is vital for Sunni and Shia Muslims to assemble on a single platform. The Prophet is the ideal for all Muslims, and before departing from this world, he made it clear that Muslims will never go astray if they hold fast to two-way things which he introduced as the Thaqalain. On the command of God, he said that he was leaving behind the Book of God, that is the Holy Qur'an, and his progeny, the Ahlul Bayt. The Prophet said the two are inseparable from each other, and as long as Muslims hold fast to them, there never will be any discord.